Lowry joins us now, all decked out, going to tell us all about the Sun Law Pride event. It begins tomorrow, runs through the weekend, runs through Sunday. So, Ann, welcome. Good to have you, as always. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here. I know. I'm just so happy to see you dressed <laughs> like this. It looks like you're ready to go. Well, some people would say this is my daily attire, but anyway. You <laughs> oh, know, well, uh, it's just too precious. Yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just used to Ann, and, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> right? She doesn't. Well, right. wonderful. Yeah, so we're really excited about the events that we have planned this weekend. You know, I'm the executive director of Central Louisiana AIDS Support Services, and right. I wear a lot of labels. I'm a mom, I'm straight, I'm divorced, I'm white, I'm a human, I'm a, you know, girl, I'm a mom. And that's what the uh, Sin Law Pride event is all about. And that's what Sin Law Pride is all about. It is to celebrate the LGBT community, mm -hmm. its friends, its allies. We all come together. And the most important label that we all wear is that we're human. Mm -hmm. And so um, this event was born out of the desire to celebrate the diversity, the unique people that live in our community, how we all are so similar, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we work together, live together, pray together, uh, worship together. Um, and so uh, there's Sin La Pride. And there is a celebration of diversity. And there is there a celebration of diversity. All right, let's uh, tell, talk about what's coming up tomorrow. When let's it all talk begins. about it. So tomorrow, we're very fortunate to have uh, a, an opening reception at the mm -hmm. Mirror Room um, at the Hotel Bentley. We're very grateful to the Diamond Grill and the Mirror Room and Mike Jenkins for hosting this wonderful event. There's going to be a silent art auction and reception. Um, the proceeds will benefit Central Louisiana Aid Support Services. And uh, that event will start at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're going to have hors d'oeuvres and a cash bar and some wonderful auction pieces available from local artists and other things that have been donated for this cause. Yeah. And then Saturday is the busy day, and we were just talking about this a second ago. Uh, it's going to be raining a little bit. Saturday is the busy day, yeah. and um, it's a rain or shine event. Okay. And we're really excited about the possibility of learning to dance in the rain. <laughs> uh, if you've never danced in the rain before, I have lots of experience, and I'll be offering free dancing classes. And advice. At the event. Yes, I've got some advice for you on how to make your Dancing in the Rain Day experience. That'll be one memorable day, won't it? It, it really will. We're going to start at 11 with a fun mm -hmm. walk. We'll be at Tamp and Grind, and we'll walk from there to the amphitheater. Um, and that event is sponsored by Blue Cross Blue Shield. They've given us some money to walk in the morning, and so that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes, such many partners. We really do. You know, class started this event three years ago as a, a kind of an offshoot of our efforts to improve the health and wellness of our community, right. um, particularly after we saw what stigma and discrimination does to people uh, who are living uh, in our community. And, right. and so, uh, yeah, we want to be healthy, we want to have fun, we want to celebrate, uh, and we want to encourage people to live their lives you know, in a healthy right. way, right? Right. right? Does that tie into your health screens It now? absolutely okay. ties in. It mm -hmm. ties in. I see one of the biggest contributors to uh, HIV and AIDS, which is our primary mission, mm -hmm. is stigma and discrimination. People, okay. if people don't feel good about themselves, they don't tend to engage in healthy behaviors. And so Pride is all about celebrating the wonderful community that we all live in mm -hmm and respecting one another um, and appreciating our humanness. It's the thing we all have in common. You're right. It's right? wonderful. Yes. And so after the walk, we're going to have a whole day of activities um, starting at noon on the uh, Levy Amphitheater mm -hmm. in that area. Yeah. We're going to have some local musicians like the Hoochie Diggs, uh, Amelia Ryland, uh, DC Tammy Hermotka. We're going to have some great local performers as well as some belly dancers, and that's always, you should see me belly dance belly in my tutu. Belly dancing in the rain. I belly can see it now. Belly dancing in the rain in my tutu or <laughs> my poncho, right? You'll, and you'll so try anything, right, Ann? We're going to do it. <laughs> I will do it. And then at 7, there's a free show, mm -hmm. the Molly Ringwalds. They do put on so a great show. They I've do. If it's going to rain, let's let it rain early enough that mm -hmm. we can get their equipment loaded on stage and enjoy that free performance. We can dance in the rain. We can't dance in the lightning. Mm -hmm. Right. No. Right. And so uh, we're just going to hope for the best. And, and I've got some tips if you'd like them. Uh, and Sunday, what's going on on Sunday? Sunday we're going to have a non-denominational non prayer service mm -hmm. at Alexandria Convention Hall. It's going to start at 2 o'clock. There'll be some light refreshments, uh, some chicken salad, uh, and some punch, and uh, a variety of local uh, 
people will come and we will all celebrate uh, in a non-denominational service. Definitely sounds like something we need yep. to do this weekend. Anyway. It is going like to no be blast. fun. If you need even some tips, if, even if it rains, even bring your hat, rains. bring your raincoat, and a Ziploc bag for your cell phone. Thank I'm you. just saying. Thank you so much, Andrew, <laughs> for being with Sun Good Day, Sin Love. We'll I enjoyed it. Up it. In a minute.